Hey there, name the game here, and welcome back to Let's Play Alice and Madness Returns. We have just uh, assembled the hatter, and he has brought us to this place, which did not have a teacup trolley thingy for us to, to deal with. And my controller is freaking out. I think it's about to die, actually. This was a, this was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, but anyways... For now... I am going to move over here. And that goop is actually um, is actually painful. Painful to step in. Do not step in it. And recover this memory. Papa, your enthusiasm for photography makes the library smell like rotted fruit. I'm certain these solutions are toxic. I'm sure they are. If they make it, uh, if they make the library smell like rotted fruit, they're probably not good for your health. Neither are those black gooey things. Black goo. Just stay away from it. Especially if somebody bleeds that goo. Ow! Dude! Mm. Is there anything else over here? No, there isn't. Uh, there is that clock thing, though. And the rose petal that I don't really need. These clock things will be our macadam, our road into assemblage. Um, okay. Hurry, Jealous! I'll get this door open. I'm sure you will. What do I do then? Oh, I fight. I see. I see how it's done. And yeah, they um, they uh, tell you that the clockwork bomb can be uh, a distraction. And um, the clockwork bomb also works as uh, it works as a distraction. And if it blows up in an enemy's face, it will. Excuse me, it will um, deal damage as well. Okay, and here we have two insidious ruins and one menacing ruin. Three insidious, four insidious ruins, excuse me. Ow! Don't you dare, sir. Neither of you. Alice, shift target, shift target, shift target! Fine. I'll deal with you now. And then, shift target. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ! Huh, right in my face! Right in my freaking face. Okay. Come on. Oh no. Mm. Um, really? You you weren't gonna throw that at me? Hmm, I guess, ow, I just dodged right into that. No, don't. Let me... Seriously? He's, uh, he's helpless down there. And now he's dead! Fancy that! Uh, just hold on. I'm, I'm gonna no. R turn around, Alice. There are teeth and stuff down here that I kind of want to pick up before anything happens. I have 222 teeth. Teeth. Because grammar, guys. <clears throat> okay. And the hatcher is working on whatever the hell that is. This feels like an earthquake. What's happening? I really look like I know. Your judgment must be severely impaired. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. I mean, if you if you <laughs> if you think the Hatcher knows shit about shit, then yeah, your judgment is off. Yeah, while well, he's working on whatever the hell he's working on, uh, I will shrink my way over here and uh, jump over to this place and grab me some things. And go up here. Z Alice, move. And that's how that goes. So, um, over here there is uh, a thing. And I need to activate it. Because that is not a breakable wall. That is something else entirely. And there is the clock to activate it. Or the, the meter or whatever you want to call those things. Excuse me. 
yawning right in your faces. And there we go, it turns that thing around and you have to shrink your way through it. Because that's how it goes. And teeth, L oh, what does this say? <laughs> Alice is victorious over her enemies, that is, um, I approve of that message. Sweet. Okay, moving on. I see keyholes. Do I see anything? No, I don't. Never mind. Let's go through the keyhole then. Move our way over here. And I see Hatter's face on the wall. Is there anything over here? Anything? Why is there... Why is this platform here? I will probably never know. Oof. I want those teeth. Is there anything else in here? No, there is not. Is that close enough? Yes, it is. Awesome. You don't have to land a thing right on top of... Um... Hello, Hatter. Yes, yes, yes. I will, I will get you through. Don't worry. Look at those light bulbs. So cool. Really, really cool design. Oh, I may have to sneeze. Please don't sneeze. <clears throat> okay. And Alice, and uh, not Alice, but oh, Jesus Christ, get Hatter. <clears throat> Hatter is through, and Alice is through, and oh my god. That looks absolutely. This looks neat. This is really neat. And here is the uh, the new train, and it kind of just runs right through environments, apparently. Jeez, wow. That train looks... I mean, it looks evil, don't get me wrong, but it looks absolutely fantastic, too. We found the source of the shaking, but are those two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left! You're too the late! The insolence, the arrogance, the execrable table manners! They are destroyers of Wonderland! Defilers, denuders, derangers! Delightful! It's present! Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die! Oh! But Put me down this instant! Rude! Completely rude! Battle time, missy! Oh, damn it. Boss fight. Except that I um, I can't move. Hello? Abandon false hope. Forget the past. The damage is done. <laughs> Let the madness begin. Resume the horny. Okay, you know, that looks more menacing than the thing is from the previous game, for those of you who've played the previous game. Uh... Hatcher? Was that Hatcher's doing? I honestly don't know. Oh, my precious dream. And the guests. All I really wanted was another tea party. Please, Hatter, you promised. Where is that train going? What's its purpose? Tell me. Now. There's no time for whatever it is you want to talk about. It's time for tea. Talk treats with Turkey. He ran the looking glass line. <clears throat> Come on, you lot! We can still be friends. I've got a fine Darjeeli. Drink, drink! <laughs> My memories are shattered. I'm trying to collect the pieces, and I now believe the train impedes me. You must help me. You promised! Ask the one who helped them what helped themselves, whoever that is. Ah! Very pick. He deserved to die. And I'm about to drown in tea, in ignorance. Well, that sucks. A lot. And, um... Well, that's the end of the Hatter's Domain, I suppose. So, what happens now? Hello? Caught me very own ribbon, then. Saints be praised that he works in mysterious ways and got plans for her. Take her over to the Mangle Mermaid. Rent a bed. Answer woo a girl, Mr. Brawl. Do you think you're doing? What comes natural like? Not natural to me. Get away. And 
and we are back in London apparently. Um, but I have no idea where we are. We're, I, I'm assuming we're at. The uh, white cat reminds me of my snowdrop. Nanny knew her. Oh yeah, the cat is back. Uh, but for now, I think um, I am going to end the episode here. I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but I don't. I don't feel like you're working on any new. Uh, on a new chapter I've been recording for almost three hours now so uh, yeah I hope you liked it I hope you will tune in for the next episode have a great day everyone <laughs>